Hey everyone! Lately we've been using the Looking Glass AI to generate Pokemon to model, and it's a lot of fun. We thought that you guys enjoy playing with it, so we're going to explain how we use it. At least as of February 2022, I'm sure that it'll change at some point in the future. So first you're going to have to navigate to this page, link in the description. Click this little file icon over here to expand the side menu. You need to have a Google account before you can use this, so you might have to make one. Click this file icon with an arrow on it, and navigate to where you have the images you want to use saved. I'm just going to use these five Pokemon for this example. Once you've chose your images, hit OK. You can see the uploaded files over in this side menu. Now right click over here and make a new folder. Name the folder something easy to type. I usually go with just the number one, then drag all of your images into the folder. If you only wanted to use one image, you'd type it in here. I'm going to use the whole folder, but I'm going to type in one of the images just in case something goes wrong, then it has something to default to. I found that when using multiple images, an epoch amount of 50 is pretty good. If your final images don't turn out how you want them to, you can change this, but the higher the number, the longer the AI takes to run. For universe similarity, I found that medium gives the best results. And since I don't know how to type in Cyrillic, I just leave the fine tuning alone. Here's where you set how many images you want to generate, I've been going with 25 at a time. And then I leave all these settings as is. Down here, since I want to use all of the images in my folder, I'm going to check multiple image tuning and change this folder to train field to the name of my folder. Make sure to have the quotation marks and spell everything correctly. If you're only using one image, use double quotation marks to skip this part. Now all that's left is to start it up. So let's scroll up to the beginning and hit runtime in the menu, hit restart and run all, and click yes. If you're ever unsure about the safety of one of these notebooks, make sure to look at the source code, which is all available to view, and then choose Run Anyway. The AI runs on Google's processors, so if you're lucky, you'll get a fast one. This time I got a K80, which is like crazy amazing by real people's standards, but this AI is an absolute monster and is going to take a couple hours to run. On occasion I've gotten a Tesla T4, which is clearly some kind of monster slaying insane triple S tier processor and it ran this thing in like 20 minutes. So now basically we just wait as it runs through all these steps. And you'll probably want to stick around and watch as it processes. Since you're occupying Google's hardware, they check constantly to see if you're still there. And if you miss a CAPTCHA, they boot you off. And then you're more likely to get timed out for an unknown amount of time. Happened to me once and the timeout was about 24 hours. This fine-tuning process goes until this number reaches the amount of images you have in your folder multiplied by the epoch amount you chose earlier. I have 5 images in an epoch of 50, so it'll take until 250. Which overall for me took about 40 minutes. And then you can watch a few bars fill a couple times, which took about another hour. And then when it's all done, your images pop out down here. You can right-click and save this collage. Also over here in the output, there's larger versions of each individual image that you can save. If you wait a few more minutes, a zip file will pop up down here that you can download, which will have all of your higher res images saved in it. If you're looking to do several collages back to back with the same exact settings, go to runtime in the menu and choose run after, and it'll just run this final cell, which will still take another 15 minutes to an hour or longer depending on the processor, but at least you can skip the first half. And that's really all there is to it. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you get any exceptionally cool results, I'd love to see them. Please like and subscribe, feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments. If you'd like to help the channel grow, share a video. We also have a Patreon if you're interested. Thank you again, stay safe, I love you all, goodbye!